Welcome back to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Today, it's the slickest half dollar challenge from Liberty Bleed Silver. So I've got some contenders and maybe some pretenders. We'll uh, check into some of those. And I might even have some from my coin roll hunting days. That, oh, actually, the, yeah. Might have some from my coin roll hunting days. Got to check and see if there's any slicks uh, there. So, let me get set up. And speaking of setup, you might notice that things are set up a little different. I just got back from vacation, so... That's why a lot of this is going to be late. I've got some other challenges to respond to, so... Keep watching. I'm not sure uh, who did the Show Me Your Australian challenge. I know I'm way late on that, but that's coming. So as we get started here, I'd like to uh, point out one thing uh, for many people to be aware of. These scales, you know, they should be fairly accurate, but it's good to check every once in a while. A nickel should always weigh 5.0, a decent nickel anyway. So that's something you can use as a check of your scale for accuracy. So before we get into the more likely candidates, I was showing off the tube of things that I found coin roll hunting, and so some of these are not slick enough. Oh, maybe. So yeah, I used to get bank boxes of half dollars and all these were found there. No, nope. gotta be in the 11s to have a, have a shot. So I was starting to put these away off camera not to get mixed up with those and I forgot I had the <laughs> This one, um, it's not a candidate for lightweight, but I thought that was kind of neat tape toning. All right, so I think we're ready to check some coins. And had some walkers, and this one's definitely got some damage going <laughs> in more ways than one. But I know I won't enter this one, but just wanted to see where it's at. 11.8. <laughs> So, and these are not like super, super worn, but I think these are my slickest of the Walker family. 11.9, at least I'm into the 11s there. And 1917. These are from my coin folder, 11.8. Yeah, I think I can do better. I've got some barbers over there. Let's see what we can do here. These also are from my coin folder. I'm collecting Barber half dollars and love anything to do with Barber coins. So I do have Barber, oh, I do have Barber quarters as well in a book. So please check my playlists. If you want like Barber coins, I have a Barber playlist. Ah, ooh, hands off the table, everyone. 11.5. So, so far, I think that's our leaderboard. Uh, next up, we've got 19.14. And actually, I didn't even know if I showed the, <laughs> the reverse of that other one. But let's see what we got before that thing. Ooh. Hands on. 11.6. We're not going not gonna to win anything with that one. 18.99. Actually, let me have two hands here. 18.99 oh we got some wear and tear no damage or no i mean i wouldn't pass grading but yeah ooh 11.5 come on <sighs> no negative uh gravity here or negative uh, air flow no <laughs> uh 18.92 and let's see what we got here oh and oh this one i think the judges might disqualify but let's see what we got 11.4, hmm, so that's 11.4, what's this one again? 11.4, at least this one's not, I got a chunk out of it, so one left. 1900, and this is an S, and a 
11 too. So, I don't know. Uh, these coins, you know, they, they do have some wear and tear. Um, I don't think. Is that a chunk out of it or is that a mark? Hmm. So, I turned it at an angle. It's not a divot or anything. So, this is going to be my my entry in the festivities here. I thought it was 11 too. What happened? My finger, I put some oil on it. Oh. All right, 11 three. Oh yeah, I forgot about the tubes I was gonna try to go through here. So let's uh, quickly see if there are any content. <laughs> Contenders, what was this, jewelry at one point? Whew. So, ooh, there we go, maybe. So a lot of these I bought, like it's a take it or leave it kind of deal, and got them really cheap. So, if anything, they could go melting. All right, next tube, we'll save that one out for the way in. But before I put them away, everybody loves this. So that first one I opened, and then this one, say Walker 8. I think I paid $8 for these uh, way back. Nobody. And then there's a couple tubes of just regular labeled Walkers. These are a little better quality. Still fun to take a look at. Ooh, is that one? No. Might have had these organized by date. I don't know. I think I just messed all up. <laughs> Might have messed that all up for the other tube, but. Oh. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me check. So I gotta beat 11.3, right? That's not doing it. Hmm. All right, we're stuck with our 11.3. So upon closer inspection, it's not a divot, it's just a mark on the back there. Actually, I could probably scrape it off and uh, maybe uh, lose a, a milligram or so. Anyway, I think this is still gonna be the, be the one. 11.3. So I thank you so much for watching Coin Sense and Nonsense. And until next time, bye, bye. So as I was cleaning up here, so I guess this is a PS. It's not only Pirate Stacker that's got uh, treasure chests here. I forgot I cleaned up my set and uh, have a bunch of silver in here. Let's see. If there's anything slick. Commemorative, but not slick enough. Another commemorative, but also not slick enough. Let's just weigh it for the heck of it. Nobody's, I don't know how many people have entered a commemorative. Turns out I've got four of those Monroe Doctrine halves in here, but um, the deal was when I bought these, I got five, and I did send one in for grading, and pretty sure it came back as an AU something or other.